Gotcha. Hey, you too. It's Pavlov. Got a knife review for you. Tripod. Hey, guys. On her iPad. Uh, I got a ProTech. Uh, like I mentioned in the EDC video, I always see automatic knife reviews and people are like, man, I wish I could carry it. And I thought to myself, well, I can. Why don't I? So <laughs> I'm exercising my knife rights and I picked up uh, two automatic knives at Christmas time. And this is one of them. Okay, but honestly, for a long time I wouldn't let you carry one. Automatic or switchblade. Do you remember why? Uh, spring assisted are just about the same. He has a tendency to cut himself. Well, anyway, we're going to talk about this. And there are some things about it. Uh, the protect and the model is on this side. If you want to look it up. You keep getting farther and farther over on me. You got it now? Mm-hmm. Um, and the reason I went with this model, it's right here, is this knife. Right here. It's a Tonto. This is a Inlon. Oh, that's the one that... Oh, no, it's a that... B. Senor Jobin made pretty for you. No, this came like this. It was from New Jersey Devil Tactical. Aww. I think his videos are still up, but uh, I'm not sure what happened to him. He's an older guy. But I won this in a contest from him. Didn't Senor Jobin. Oh, he did the one with the flames. Yeah, the okay. smaller one. Looks totally different. But yeah, this one came this way. It's like well, an etch. Maybe if you made more factory. videos, I would have all my knife straight still. So. Here's the pro tank. See, oh, kind of the missed, same. I'm sorry, I missed the opening. Yeah, I'll do it again a couple of times. That's the fun of this. See, so I wanted a Tonto about the same size. Since that's all fun of automatics. You ready? Mm-hmm. I don't want to cut open this thing. Don't you cut my Ready? couch. Ready. This, Does it come... People always say this, uh, they fire tremendously fast. I love how you talk over me. I don't... Does the blade come out the end or does it swing open? It's a side opening on a minute. It comes out the side here. See? And it swings out this way. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Sorry. As I was saying, it just, it fires so fast and hard. That's one of the things Protex, it, it, they're known for. And it is, when you fire it, it's like, damn, that was fast. Uh, it's got, like, a handle. Kind of like an Emerson or whatever. But, um, there's no safety on it. Fits my hand perfect. There's jimping on the back of the handle. It's nice and sharp. Usually handle jumping, isn't it? Um, it is chisel ground. 154cm. It comes... It came pr pretty sharp. It was like a, like a toothy edge. It would rip sometimes. So I tried to touch it up on the sharp maker, but... It kind of made the edge kind of wavy. Like even more toothy. I'm not sure what happened. So I had to do it, I had to sharpen it on a stone. I just, I colored the, the bevel sharpie, made sure I hit the whole thing with the stone, and then knocked off the bar on the other side. And it's much sharper now. I'm thinking if I had to make another choice. Did you say more sharper? It's definitely sharper now than it was. Okay. I think, uh, Given another choice, they have like a drop point that's ground on both sides. I'm not a super fan of the chisel grind, but I'd never so tried it So does that mean before. the other side isn't sharp? The edge is sharp, this side's just flat. Mm. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, so I don't know why, why, what it is about the steel that made the sharp maker made it more wavy on the edge but mm, 
little size comparison here. There's a Sage 2 paramilitary tube. I love this Tonto shape. It's like really sharp angles. I do haven't even carried those. And push the button to close it. I can close this one one handed. Clip looks like an Emerson clip. Some people don't like this. Different colored screws. I don't mind. Um, I wish that this is grippy. It's like diamonds cut into the aluminum. The whole handle's aluminum. I wish it extended farther down this side. So when you go to pull it out of your pocket, you got a better grip. Because I have. I have fumbled it and dropped it a few times. Is this the brand new one that you dropped like the first day? Right on the tip? No, I was going to get to that. Wait for it. It's, I didn't drop it on the tip. I did something else to it. Isn't this like the $170 knife you broke the very first uh, day? It's, it was $149 on that HQ. Hmm. It's definitely solid and it's definitely worth it. Um, I wish they would have put the texture farther down. Because... Uh, I was pulling it out of my pocket and it slipped out of my hand and fell. Now this, when you drop it, it fires open. And it skitters on the ground and I actually dented it right here on this tip. Flattened the edge right there. Um, what she's talking about is I was trying to film a video for my dad when I first got it to show it off. I had it close to the table at work and I fired it into the table and it broke the tip off just a little bit just a little bit of the tip off but uh so I fired it into the table it broke the tip off and it's still locked all the way it's still I mean it fired so hard it hit the table broke the tip off and stayed open so they really do fire hard the handle's really comfortable it's uh I have medium sized hands, like every medium glove fits perfect. Um, he went through hell to get that knife too. We had issues with delivery. The aluminum is nice and thick. This this whole knife feels really solid. Even at first it felt more solid than my zero tolerance automatic. Um, I got this for carrying at work. It's slim. So I can put my hands in my pockets in and out, and it doesn't take up my whole front pocket. That's what I like about it. Still, you know, pointy enough. Cuts open Ritz crackers. Stuff like that. Everything I need it to. It's really a nice auto. I don't see too many videos about it. Because most people aren't allowed to carry them. It doesn't work all that well for just processing cardboard, but I mean, it's really sharp. It'll cut like free hanging uh, paper towels, like in the bathrooms, the paper towels hanging down. You know, if you slash at it, it just cuts right through the paper towels. Are you telling me when you're in the bathroom in public restaurants? Restrooms, you just play ninja with their paper towel holder? No, not public <laughs> ones. It's usually... Your work one. At work, yeah. <laughs> and it's not all the time. It's not every time. Just every other time. There's even... So we should just start calling you the bathroom ninja. Bathroom ninja. With is heavy drawers. Is there a bathroom ninja or is there isn't? There is a bathroom ninja, you. Oh, when I, uh, when I broke the tip off, it was early on the work shift I work 12 hours so I use the smooth cement to restore the tip because it was definitely a square at the end that's why there's a little bit of coating missing from the tip
That's about all. It's easy to clean out. It's open. No lanyard hole. I haven't missed the button on it. You can feel where the button is. It's really depressed. It's sad. <laughs> <laughs> There's hex screws right here. I would... <coughs> I'm never going to take it apart. Anything else? Oh, centering kind of looks weird. It doesn't rub or scrape off the paint on, on it. It's chisel ground. You have to remember. It just feels very precise. Well, that's why it's very depressed. Solid. They make all sorts of versions, like ones with pearl buttons and all sorts of stuff like that. Makes a loud noise when you open it. Oh, here's a dent right there on the handle. You see it, mm -hmm. babe? You got a dent right there. Oh, there's jumping back here, too. The handle is really comfortable, even like this. So, there it is. Protec Auto. Anything you want to say about it? Looks like every other knife you have, except it comes out fast. Yeah, so I wish this texture was farther down, or even the whole handle would be nice. Not on this side, maybe up to here, but on this side, that would be nice. Hmm. Anything else? No, that's it. Anything else you want to talk about? Like what? Why don't you tell them how hard it was to get that thing in the mail? Oh, Christmas time? That was a long time ago, yeah. Uh, Blade HQ had, had sent them out the three knives. This one, this one, and my uh, Zero Tolerance Automatic. And they shipped them. We saw that they were shipped, and uh, we didn't get a notice at the door, nothing. So we called Blade HQ, and what, I forgot. And they were saying, like, how we were going to have to wait two weeks. And mind you, this is, like, over $500. You a guys, couple of days after. I was hoping to get them before Christmas. He should have got them. They yeah. were out for shipment as of the 22nd, and we were guaranteed a delivery date of, like, the 23rd or the 24th. And it said out for shipment on, or out for delivery on the 22nd, and then it just stayed out for delivery. And then, like, on the yeah. 27th, I hunted down the mailman in our neighborhood, and the notice that he had put in the doorway to let us know that he'd been there and we weren't there had blown away. <laughs> so he had it, actually, and he brought them to us right away after that. But Blade HQ was, like... Well, it's going to be like two weeks, and then if you still don't get it, then we'll reship, and blah, blah. It was just this huge mess, and I was not happy. Well, they did, they did their part, and it was sitting at the post office the whole time. He brought it back to the post office. So, but got but him still, now. make you wait two full weeks? I mean, that's insane. That is. So, especially when they put in insurance and everything on the the packages. So. But, yeah. So, he didn't actually get his Christmas gifts until, like, December 27th or the 28th. But, luckily, my mailman in the neighborhood's really cool, so he brought them to us. Anything else? Mm -mm. The uh, clip screws are Torx, but the body screws are definitely hexes and so is the pivot is a hex I mean every the stop pin in there steel of course um, the seams are all perfect it's really high quality but yeah if you drop it it's gonna fire open mm -hmm. I haven't had it open in my pocket I've had it loose in my pocket floating around but uh 
if you drop it, it's gonna fire. So be careful. And it hurts. Mm. That's it. Pro tip. Over and out. Ten four, good buddy. <laughs>